Welcome back to another video everyone, it's Citizen X and today we're going to be looking at installing this really cool uh, AI deepfake program or deep live cam they call it. You can see here the guy's got a preview of him setting it up, putting Elon Musk's face on his face and it looks really cool, really interesting, it's free, it runs locally so I thought why not have a go at it. So this is going to be a real quick run through because the steps are quite basic so let's go to his github and you can see here it's called uh, Hacksider and the project's called Deep Live Cam. You can get all the instructions here, so if you just want to go and do the instructions yourself, feel free, they're all here, but I'll run us through it now. So first step, go to PowerShell, right click, run as administrator. Step two, we want to install Chocolatey. Chocolatey is a packet manager for Windows, a package manager for Windows, and it's gonna make doing a lot of this very, very simple. So we can go to the uh, chocolatey website and when you're here scroll down a little bit and you get the command to run in Windows it's right here in the middle of the page run this in PowerShell and chocolatey will install so we just click the copy button here go back to PowerShell paste enter now it's going to tell me that chocolatey is already installed so that's fine so let's verify that chocolatey is installed after you run this command so we're going to go choco dash V it's going to tell us we're on 2.3.0 good right now we want to install a very specific version of Python Python version 3.10.0 if you have any other version of Python installed at this point please uninstall it now because when this runs the new version of Python will be picked up and uh, it causes issues so make sure that you've got the following version of Python installed so we're going to just going to say choco install python dash dash version equals 3.10.0 just like that we're going to hit enter it's going to tell me that it's already installed yours won't um, you may have to say yes to a couple of things along the way do you want to install this that and the other yes 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 and now we're just going to check uh, if our python version is correct so python dash dash version Python 3.10, great, we can move on to the next step. Now we're going to install git, so to do this we just say choco install git, this is why choco makes things so good, it's probably going to tell me that yeah, choco is installed already, uh, <laughs> git's installed already, so now we're just going to say git dash dash version, make sure that git's on our computer, good stuff. Now we need to install ffmpeg, uh, so we're going to say choco install ffmpeg. Again, Choco is going to tell me, hey, you've already got this, but just to verify it, we can say ffmpeg dash dash version. So once you've done, once you've installed ffmpeg, you can check it's installed and it will tell you there it's installed. Ignore the red text. Yes, it's just one. Let's just for the sake of the video. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so next we need to go to Visual Studio and install uh, what's it called Visual Studio Tools or Build Tools or something like that so I'll put all the links needed in the description but we're just going to very quickly go to download build tools um, I've already got it but just download it and when you're going through the install just click next 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 at some point it will give you the option to install a C++ package install that we need it for the AI program it's about 6 gigabytes in size something like that install it and then come back to where we are now. So, if you're using a CPU to do all this, you don't need to do this step, you can skip this step. If you're using a GPU, we need to install um, NVIDIA CUDA. Now we can get this from NVIDIA's website. So again, we'll just go to the internet, go to NVIDIA CUDA's website. All of this will be in the description, Windows, Windows 11 or Windows 10, whichever one you're using. If it's a local install, which if it's on your computer it will be, click local and then download the three gigabyte program. Again, just like with build tools, just go through it, next, 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 install, 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 and come back to PowerShell once it's done. Now, to check that NVIDIA CUDA is installed, we're just gonna type NVIDIA-SMI, and then you get all this information, and it says here that NVIDIA CUDA is installed, we're using version 12.6. 
Good stuff. We can move on to the next step. So now it's time to git clone the repository. Now all this is doing, if you're not familiar with git, it's going to use a program called git to download, to create a copy of the repository or basically folder um, at this address, this guy's GitHub project essentially. So I've already got it, so I'll see, see if it works. It might complain at me that I've already got it, but let's go to grab the command and we're going to say git clone and then the address that the repository is live at, the project is live at. So mine's going to say it already exists. Yep. So once you've done this, just it'll clone it all good. Then you want to go to a website called Hugging Face. I'll put again the link in the description and we need to download two models. So you're going to download this one here, this GFPGAN version 1.4, download that. And you're also going to get this um, IN Swapper 128FP16. Download those and put them in the models folder. Um, put them in the models folder where this project lives. So at the top of this folder, uh, top of this project, you're going to have a models folder. Go in there, drop the two files in there, and we'll be good to go. Now, back to PowerShell, we're going to get this thing installed. Pause, this is Citizen X from the future here. I forgot to mention one step. Before you do anything else, change directory into uh, the folder that got cloned that all these AI files live into live in. So just use the CD command and then CD into the directory where all your files are. Okay, cool. Back to the video. Now, first thing I want you to do is to upgrade pip. If you get any issues in the next steps, it's likely because the wrong version of Python is installed or multiple versions of Python are installed and it's using one of the newer ones or one of the older ones to, to try and do this. We need 3.10.0 or pip is out of date and you need to get the most recent version of pip. Now, if you don't know what it is, don't worry. Just type in this command python space dash m space pip space install space dash dash upgrade space pip. That's going to go through and it'll either upgrade you or it will say uh, you're already you're already running that version. So now we're just going to say pip dash dash version. I don't know if that's the right command. Yeah, pip 24.2 is what I'm running on with Python 3.10. So now that pip's installed, we're going to run one more command. It's going to be pip install dash r requirements.txt. All this is going to do is run a requirements.txt text file that's within the folder that's within the repository that we just downloaded. And that text file contains all of the prerequisites uh, and tells the computer how to download all this stuff for us so that we don't have to do it. So just run pip install dash r requirements.txt. Ah, okay, so this is good. It says there no such file uh, or directory. What you want to do is cd into the directory um, that you clone the repository to. So for me, that's going to be this here. So before you do anything, cd into that directory, then we can run the pip install dash r requirements.txt command. That will go through and install a whole bunch of stuff. It may take some time, so just let it run. Now, there's one extra command. If you're on, if you're just using a CPU to do all this, you're done. You don't need to do anything else. We can run it. But if you're using a GPU, you have to run one more command. And that command is going to be the following. It's going to be pip install onnx runtime dash GPU equals equals 1.6.3. And I just want you to run that. And it's not going to do it because mine's already uh, installed but you'll get a success message. Okay, now, if you are running this on a CPU, you just have to use python run.py, like that. If you're running it on a GPU, we've got a couple of extra things to add. So we just add on the end there, dash dash execution dash provider CUDA. It's just telling it to use NVIDIA CUDA that we downloaded previously. Run that. And after some time, 
it'll open. This is a consistent thing with this program. It's using deep learning models, so it's power hungry. You need real good hardware to use this stuff. So don't worry if it looks like it's crashing. Don't worry if it looks like it's hanging. Just bear with it. It will work. And there you go. This is essentially the program. You, you can select a face that you want to, you, you know, your, your reference face. So if you had a person that you wanted to put on another person, you put them there and you put the target here. Now you've got all these toggles. If you're using video, you can keep FPS, keep frames, use a frame enhan uh, face enhancer. Um, if you're doing a live thing, if you want to just use the webcam and change it, change put someone's face on your face live, you just hit this live button, plug in your webcam and it will bring up a display box. But you know, you know I don't like showing my face on this channel, so I'll just show you the demo that this thing comes with and you can see it in action here again. This guy has selected, selected the face he wants, Elon Musk, he's clicked the live button and then this preview window pops up here and you can see his face is being, Elon Musk's face is being put onto his face. It works very quick, very seamlessly, so have fun with it guys. This is how you get it installed. Uh, go and enjoy.